There are four parts of your body language which could be screaming, I'm nervous! And if you don't know about them, it's going to be very difficult for you to ever look confident in a presentation. My name is Kyle Murter, and I specialize in helping people sound and feel more confident during presentations. And today I'm going to reveal what these four things are and how you can make sure that your body language is saying, I am confident. I belong here on stage. So the first thing which could be making you look nervous is your expression. Check out this clip of Bill Gates. I've taken away the sound because I want you to focus on his face. Now, what is his face communicating to you? Is it communicating, yeah, I really want to be here, I'm having a good time? Or is it communicating, I'm worried, I'm nervous, I do not like doing this? It was the latter, wasn't it? And your face could potentially be doing the same thing. If your expressions look nervous, if you look worried up there, if you look like you'd rather get hit by a bus, then the audience is going to feel that. And as a result, they'll believe, hey, this person's nervous, and therefore, mm, I don't know if I feel comfortable listening to them. So one thing you can do to prevent that from being your reality is at the start of your presentation, you can smile. Now I know based on how you're feeling, that's probably the polar opposite of what you want to do. And I know you might be thinking, well, my smile's just going to look fake. But there has been lots of research, lots of evidence that shows that when you smile, your whole body tends to relax a lot more. So yes, at first it might be a fake smile, but as those seconds tick by, as you deliver your first words and they go well, that smile is gonna become more and more real. And you might just end up enjoying your presentation. The second thing which will make you look ultra nervous is your eyes. Your eyes can show you're nervous in two ways. The first is that you're holding notes and your eyes do not leave those notes. There could be an airplane crashing into the building, but you're still looking at those notes. That's a key sign that you are ultra nervous. Now, the other is a lot more common. This is when you're looking around the room. It looks like you're making eye contact, but you're not really. You're actually just scanning the room or even worse, you're taking that advice of looking at the wall in the back. Because, of course, no one's going to realize you're not looking at them, right? Uh-uh. You know what you need to do here. If you want to look confident with your eyes, you need to make eye contact with your audience. And I do understand that that's very scary and daunting. But what I would recommend doing is instead of trying to make eye contact with everyone in the room at first, try and find some allies in the room. Now, allies could be a couple of friends that you have in the audience, just look at them at first. Or if you don't know anyone in the audience, it could be that one person who's smiling. Make eye contact with them, allow their good energy to lift your confidence, and then you can try looking at another person, and then one more person, and then another person at the back there. And before you know it, you're making eye contact with the whole room and you're looking a lot more confident. The third part of your body that will scream I'm nervous is your hands. Have you seen this before? A speaker constantly fidgeting with their hands like they're trying to solve a Rubik's cube? It makes them look very nervous, makes them look very anxious, doesn't it? And this is what your hands can potentially communicate when they're locked like this, when they're together, when they're in a defensive posture. But the cool thing is your hands can also communicate that you are very confident. And that can be done by simply gesturing in your presentation with open palms, not closed fists, not locked hands like this. Open palm gestures are very welcoming, very inviting, and suggest to the audience that you are confident in what you are saying. The fourth part of your body that you need to watch out for is your feet. Now, you can't see my feet right now, which is probably a good thing, but what most people do with their feet when they're nervous 
is they bring them really close together. Almost like they're standing on a precarious platform. If they go one way or the other, they'll fall off. So they stand in this position the entire time. The issue with having your feet like that is it encourages the rest of your body to minimize as well. And before you know it, you're making yourself as narrow as possible. And look what's happened. The hands are now together. The neck is in. The face is all over the place. And the eyes, they just want to look at the nose. So your feet can almost create a, a chain reaction for nervousness to be permeating throughout your body. So if we want to avoid that, we need to begin with our feet. The best thing you can do is get your feet shoulder width apart. This will give you a good even balance, good weight distribution, and it will also make it easy for you to move in different directions if you need to. Please do not put your feet wider than shoulder width apart, otherwise you might start looking like a Tory. And no one wants that. If you enjoyed this video today, you might also be interested to learn about these five hand gesture mistakes. This goes a bit more into depth into hand gestures, not just covering nervous hand gestures, but lots of other types, which can really annoy the audience and even disconnect the audience from what you are saying. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, and I hope you now know how to look more confident.